I wanted to cover a little bit more on how to present your model in a way that maybe would make it a little bit more appealing. And in doing so, I want to talk about the style window. So if you go to window and styles, I have that set up as a shortcut for me as uh, shift Y. This is a great window that you can use. It basically works a lot like the material or the paint bucket tool. So you can use this window to create a pretty much never ending variety of styles within your model and they look just like uh, the materials do and they'll continue to fill up in this section as you add new ones. So to start, you can start by just selecting styles. So you can go to your select tool I mean, it's just your select tab, excuse me, and move down and look at the different styles that it comes with. Um, there are some assorted styles, and I'm just going to start clicking on a few at random. You'll notice one of the things that happens as I start clicking on these styles is that not only does the appearance change dramatically, but also in a lot of these styles, you're going to see these section planes showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide those for the time being, and then we'll get into um, we'll get into whether or not we want to see those um, further on. But you can just start clicking on some of the assorted styles. And these are default styles that they've applied uh, or created within, within SketchUp. They, one thing to note about these is they will drag down the movement time of your model dramatically. So I'm not going to do a lot of moving around as I click on these because it, it, it becomes a lot harder to move around. Um, these are all styles that somebody else has generated. Maybe it's uh, somebody within the program or somebody that's um, uploaded a style that you can download. Um, so just note that what you're really seeing and the effects of or what you're really seeing change are the faces, you're seeing the change in the background, and you're seeing changes in the lines. And in a lot of cases, if you select something, uh, you'll see a change in the color of what that material looks like when it's selected. In this case, um, we don't because of this particular style is set to the, to the blue select. Um, but let's see what happens here. So if I go to this generic CAD style, you can see that when I select this now, it's, it's showing up in a different color as opposed to the, the standard blue we see. Also take note that every time I add a style to this, to this model, um, I'm now applying that style to the model and therefore it's, it's being remembered as, as a style that's been used within the model. So we can purge those later. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other possibilities you can have. There are the basic sketchy edges. I would encourage you just to kind of play around with some of these different styles and see what you like. What I like about some of these is that you can give away a little bit less of the information and you might be able to uh, not tell as much of the story and it's kind of, it becomes a little bit more enticing as a possibility for a client. Um, or if you're just trying to present an idea and you want, to, you want it to psychologically seem like you're just giving a rough picture here. You can also just create whatever style it is you want that works for you for a very particular project. So that's the basics of choosing and selecting styles. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about editing styles and um, how to make your own.